Glory to God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your blessing today. Thank you for your goodness, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, my God, because we know that whom, whom to know is life eternal. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for thy goodness today and thy mercies. Ask you to be with us now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. You may be seated tonight. Praise the Lord. As we look at the things that are going on in our world today, why uh, we're, in a, we're in a confused world. This world is confused today, and, and uh, everything that can be shaken is being shaken. Talking to one of our brethren this morning, he said, well, things are so up and down today, and there's nothing that's steady today. Thank God today that we know him. The Bible said whom to know is life eternal, and I'm glad today that we have uh, uh, something down in our soul that makes such a difference. Praise the Lord. I want to talk to you for a few moments tonight about uh, uh, the greatest thing that ever happened in this world, and that is the incarnation of God in Christ. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bible tonight, I'm going to ask you to turn with me to Hebrews and the second chapter and beginning to read at the ninth verse. Hebrews, the second chapter, and beginning to read at the ninth verse. The incarnation was the greatest event in all of history when God robed himself in flesh and came down and walked among mankind so that we could have life. Praise the Lord. But we see Jesus, <laughs> who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. For both he that sanctifieth, speaking of our God, Jesus Christ, and they who are sanctified, that's us today, that are born again by the power of God, are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. Thank God today that he uh, ended the bondage that mankind was in when Jesus Christ died upon the cross so that we might be set free by the power of Almighty God. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to secure them that are tempted. Father, we thank you today, Lord Jesus Christ, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy today. We thank you, Lord, that you came some 2,000 years ago, Lord Jesus Christ, and gave your life a ransom for us so that we might be saved today. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your goodness today. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. We thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. We thank you for salvation, full and free, that comes to us through the power of Almighty God. And we ask you, Lord, today that you would minister by thy spirit in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is fundamental to our salvation. Hallelujah. The Bible said if he is not raised, then is our, our faith is in vain, and we are still in our sins. But thank God today that Jesus came to set the captive free. Amen. We are free today because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. We look at our God today, and we see the mystery of two natures. He was both God and he was man. And, of course, we look at the Word of God, uh, and it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. 
All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. He was in the world, the Bible said, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. But to as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. And Thank God today that uh, he came uh, and knocked upon our heart's door. The Bible said in the book of Revelation, he said, I stand at the door and knock. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm glad that he stood at the door one day and knocked at my heart. And I opened the door and came in so that I could sup with him and he with me. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. What a hope today that we have in Jesus Christ. The Bible declares that God uh, uh, spoke this world into existence uh, and he came to set the captive free. For without him, uh, nothing was made that was made. And without him, uh, mankind could do nothing. Deity took upon himself humanity in the persons of Jesus Christ and came and died upon the cross so that we might have that life that he has provided for us. We look at the nature of God. And uh, as God, he turned the water into wine. He healed all those that came to him. Uh, he went to the disciples walking upon the water. He calmed the storm. When he spoke, peace be still, the storm ceased. Yes. And a lot of times in our lives today, uh, when storms would come our way, Jesus Christ is still speaking, peace be still. Yes. And we have that peace. Uh, the Bible said that passes understanding uh, that, that this world knows absolutely nothing about. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He spoke those words before Abraham was, I am. God Almighty spoke to mankind. We see him as he spoke uh, to uh, at Lazarus' tomb. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus came forth. That was the nature of God. As God spoke, he said, thy sins be forgiven thee. And he noticed that there was some of those that were standing by criticizing him. And he said, what's easier for me to say, take up thy bed and walk, or thy sins be forgiven thee? God Almighty uh, could speak those words because he had th the authority to do so. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he said, uh, destroy this temple. And in three days, he said, I will raise it up. And then we see the other nature of Jesus, the human nature. As a, as a human, he was born as a baby. The scriptures reveal that Jesus increased in wisdom. So he was born as a baby, and he increased in wisdom. Uh, the Bible in the, in the book of Timothy, Paul said, and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. He was justified in the spirit. Seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up into glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In other words, the Bible's saying it's a mystery, but it's not a mystery to you and I that God has opened our understanding that we might understand the scriptures. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The, the scriptures clearly identify Jesus as God incarnate or God in the flesh. Hallelujah. We see him as a man, uh, as he became hungry, as he had to go by times and find rest and, and peace. And we also see him in situation as he suffered so that mankind could be saved. He hungered, he became weary, uh, he was forced to sleep, and he was subjected to pain. And, of course, he lived a limited life. And even became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Although life was in him, uh, he subjected himself to death, but death could not hold him. The Bible said, he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, hallelujah, for this purpose, the Son of Man was manifest that he might destroy the works of of the devil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're free today because Jesus Christ came, seeing the need that there was a chasm 
between a righteous God and sinful man. And it was an impossibility for you and I to save ourselves. The, the darkness of sin uh, had separated us from God. And God in his mercy seen it was necessary to come and uh, redeem us. And he came and redeemed us so that we might have life and that more abundantly. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We read the scripture there uh, this evening. and said, but we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the price for you and I on the cross of Calvary. The Bible said God huh, was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, and he gave to you and I the ministry of reconciliation. In other words, uh, because God has saved us and reconciled us to himself, uh, he has given you and I that ability to go out and reconcile others unto Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, in another portion of scripture, uh, he said that he has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That isn't only to the ministry. That isn't only to those that preach the gospel. That's to you and I as individuals that we, we can go out and reach others with this saving, keeping power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's great today to know the Lord. Hallelujah. He came to destroy the works of the devil, and uh, he came to lead uh, captivity captive and give gifts unto mankind. Hallelujah. We look at uh, Isaiah prophesying, and Isaiah, uh, he's considered to be one of the great prophets of the Old Testament, uh, and he said, uh, he spoke of Christ's coming. He said, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Uh, and he said, and the government, shall be, his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. The Bible said, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Praise the Lord. God Almighty came to redeem mankind. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, for as much, <laughs> glory to God, for as much, then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. Hallelujah. We were unable to save ourselves. Glory to God. God seen the situation that we could not save ourselves. The Bible says, as in Adam all die. In that old Adamic nature, we're all going to die. But the Bible says that in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. If we'll get in Christ and allow Christ to get in us. Hallelujah. The Bible said it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. God has given you and I the spirit of the most high God. Hallelujah. The greatest thing that ever happened in this world is when Jesus Christ came and robed himself in flesh and walked among mankind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, of course, we see in the Bible where it speaks of his coming. The, uh, the, the angel of the Lord spoke to, to uh, Joseph and told him to take Mary. And, and uh, then he said, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Hallelujah. Not some second person, but God with us. Almighty God uh, came to set the captive free. Hallelujah. And we are free today because of what he has done. He has paid the price uh, so that we can be free. Amen. Hallelujah. Why wouldn't people want to come to serve the Lord? Hallelujah. We wonder so often. I was, I was talking to some of our friends here just the other day. And uh, I've taken up skating. I, 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 for something to do, I just decided to take up skating. So I'm, I'm getting a little older, you know, and the fellow's got to keep his blood flowing and get a little exercise now and again. So I, I took up the skating, and, and I'm skating with this lad. I'm, I, this is quite a bit older than me. Uh, and uh, we got to talk, and I mentioned it to our sister here tonight because he's her next-door neighbor. And we got talking, and uh, he said, my uncle was Peter Cosman, he said. And he said he used to teach at the, the, the old Bible school up in Newcastle Bridge. And uh, so I called dear old brother Harvey McNair. Most of, most of us know brother Harvey McNair because he went to the, the uh, 
Newcastle Bridge Bible School, and I, I told him about that. Oh, yeah, he said, Peter calls me, and he said, I remember him very well. And, and a week or so ago, I was up talking to Brother A.J. Bustard, and we were sitting back reminiscing about old times and what have you and different things that we'd done when we were younger. And uh, I mentioned that to him. He said, my goodness, he said, Peter calls me, and he said, Brother Brother uh, Dudley always used to quote Peter Cosman. So you don't know where you're going to find people that have uh, some association uh, with Pentecost or those that have been born again. Praise the Lord. And uh, so I mentioned it to our sister. She said, well, we've got to work on him. Uh, people today are seeking for something to satisfy the longing down in their soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have redemption today. We have been redeemed today through the blood of Jesus Christ. Paul, as he spoke to, uh, to uh, the church at Colossae, he said, In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Now, we've not been redeemed by corruptible things, the Bible said, as silver and gold. Uh, but we have uh, been, been, been born again by the power of God uh, with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without spot and without blemish. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We see Christ reconciling the world unto himself. We see a great plan of salvation that God has put in position for you and I as individuals. Praise the Lord. God has saved us to the uttermost. The Bible said he saved us to the uttermost, those that will be saved. Amen. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. So God has allowed us to reconcile others unto Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We see uh, how he reconciled us as individuals in his suffering. The Bible said, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Wounded for our transgressions. He took my place, took your place on the cross of Calvary. He was bruised uh, for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Brother, Brother Ron asked this morning, he said, do you believe in healing if it's in the church? It's certainly in the church. The Bible said, uh, the Bible tells us that he was wounded for our transgressions. Uh, he was bruised for our iniquities, and, and uh, with his stripes, we are healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. God has provided everything that we need. There's yeah. a peace of God here. The Bible speaks of the peace of God that passes understanding, uh, that, that man does not know anything about today. We're living in a world that's upset. This whole world's uh, in confusion, and people are searching for something that's genuine, something that will satisfy the longing down in the soul of an individual. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he has provided uh, that, that uh, provision for us today that uh, we can go out and tell others about Jesus Christ. Now, God feels our situations. He said, For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. But was in all points tempted like as we are, yet he was without sin. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, of course, we have a great high priest today in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God today for his goodness, for his blessings. Hallelujah. The new birth was made possible only by Jesus Christ coming uh, as a man overcoming the devil and condemning sin in the flesh. We are saved today because he came and died upon the cross. Hallelujah. The Bible said, uh, speaking of us as individuals, who, were delivered, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. Great plan of salvation. The Bible said salvation belongeth unto the Lord, and he has freely given it to you and I as individuals today. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, the Bible said how shall we escape huh, if we neglect so great a salvation? 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And of course, being led by the Spirit of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And uh, the Bible said, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. We have an inheritance that doesn't pass away. Praise the Lord. But it's reserved in heaven for you and I. Glory to God. John said, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, of course, uh, there are those today that will tell you, well, we're not really going to know for sure until we get to the other side. There's an awful lot today will tell you that we aren't really going to know until we get to the other side. Well, that's not what the Bible tells me. The Bible says, now are ye the sons of God. Hallelujah. Now are ye the sons of God. And it does not appear what we shall be. But when he appears, we shall know him as he is. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Great to know the Lord today. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke to us about our position. We're in a, we're in a very good position, saints of God, because he said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you as children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Now, we were all sinners. The Bible said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. And there were certain things that was against us. The Bible said, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He took my sins, my shortcomings, and he nailed them to his cross. Hallelujah. Born again. Born again by the power of God. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Ha! Huh. Glory to God that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world. Hallelujah. And he has given us of his spirit. Glory to God. We have the spirit of God dwelling on the inside. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Praise the Lord. Something this world knows absolutely nothing about. We are privileged today, saints of God. We are privileged today to be in the family of God. Hallelujah. And uh, be our partakers of his divine grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I read in the book of Hebrews, the Bible talks about uh, uh, the New Testament or the new and better way. Uh, and uh, we are in the New Testament time, praise the Lord. I, I looked at some of these things in the Old Testament, and I said, I'm glad I'm in New Testament times. <laughs> praise the Lord. I don't know how well I would have done in Old Testament times where there were so many different things that you had to do, but uh, God makes it pretty easy uh, to serve him in this generation that you and I are in today. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible said, when the fullness of time was come, God sent his, forth his son to redeem mankind. Hallelujah. Let's stand tonight. Thanks. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thanks. Glory to God. We're going to a place where there's going to be no more time. It's going to be all over. Time's going to be all over. We're going to step on over into eternity. Hallelujah. It's very hard for this finite little mind of mine to, to think about eternity, to know that we're going to go to be with Jesus Christ forever and forever. The songwriter said, when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, with no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Hallelujah. It's going to be a time. Huh. It's going to be a time when the saints of God yes. get over on the other side and begin to worship the Lord. Time is going to be no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to ask the music that they come back tonight. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's uh, come up around the altar tonight and talk to God. Thank him for his blessings, the promises of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.